Hi YouTube, so uh, this is just a quick and dirty explanation to why you get parity cases on the void cube. Um, now, as you've probably already witnessed, there are two different parity cases uh, on the void cube where you can have two corners switched or you can have two edge pieces switched. Now for either one of these you can use the same exact algorithm um, to fix it and basically uh, all you're really doing is jumbling this rotation. Um, so on the 3x3 three three, we are going to see these centers here change. We're going to see them rotate. But on a void cube, they don't exist. So you're not going to be able to tell. So the algorithm is simply m u m u i m i u i m i 2 u m. Now we can see that these two are messed up, okay. But if you flip it over, this is all solved, uh, except for the exclusion of the center on a regular 3x3. Three three. But on the void cube, you wouldn't see it. So it would be null and void. Um, so now from this point, you're just going to kind of have to resolve it um, any other way that you see fit. And so once you have it resolved, um, you're going to see that the four centers that we jumbled before to solve it are jumbled, uh, but on a void cube, once again, they wouldn't be there. So in essence, you have this solved on a void cube, um, but on a regular 3x3, three three, that case just can't exist because we need to have these uh, centers properly oriented. So there you have it YouTube, a quick and dirty explanation of why parity occurs on the void cube. Good luck and I hope that helps.